man, that David guy sure was brave. He must have been a big bodybuilder like me. Actually, David wasn't very big at all. Uh, the Bible doesn't tell us exactly how old he was, but we think he was probably between 12 and 15. And we know that he wasn't that big because he couldn't even come close to fitting into Saul's armor, even though Saul was kind of tall. We know that David, when he fought Goliath, was, was not very big and not very old. But in that story, he goes and fights a giant. If he ain't super big and strong, that must have been scary. I imagine that David was very, very scared. And how did he go and fight a giant? Well, Metal Gretel, we all face scary moments. I mean, all of us do. You know, uh, why don't we do, why don't we, why don't we play a little game? Okay, we're going to play a little game called Scary or Nah. Nah, I'm going to give you a, a situation, a scenario, and I want you to tell me whether you think it is scary or Nah, that's not scary. Okay, kids at home, you can play along with us too, okay? Ready? Number one, scary or nah? Watching a scary movie or TV show. You mean like Goosebumps or Frozen 2? I was terrified of that creepy water horse in Frozen 2. You are not alone in that one, Metal Gretel. That, that water hair scared poor Wally half to death. I'm pretty sure he was part jaguar. Possibly part great white. Scary. All right, uh, next one. Being around animals with big, sharp teeth. Well, I am a trained adventure aficionado, and badado, so that one does not scare me at all. Unless it was a mutated chipmunk or a zombie dinosaur. Yeah, I would rip some teeth out of his head. Okay, uh, how about going to a new school? Scary or nah? I mean, like, one where I don't know where the weight or gym room is? Ooh, now that is scary. All right, last one. How about a big thunderstorm? There is nothing as scary as racing through a rainforest with a rabbit pack of ostriches during a rainstorm, am I right? <laughs> Who is this guy? I don't think he's ever done any of this. Who, who told you that I'd never left my mom's house? Nobody told me that part. Brandon, I'm not a big fan of thunderstorms. Everyone gets scared. Everyone has different things that we're scared of. Whether it's your mom seeing your report card, whether it's thunderstorms, whatever it is, we all have situations where we get scared. And God has given us exactly what we need to be brave, even when we are scared. You see, God created each and every one of us different. And that's beautiful. We don't all want to be the same. God made us all different on purpose. And God has given you gifts. And he wants to use those gifts to help you be brave. Isn't that cool? God has already given you the things you need to be brave. Yes! Like last week when we learned that God knows who I am. Exactly. And because God knows who I am, he knows what gifts I have. In fact, that's today's big idea. That God can use our gifts. God knows us. And he wants to help us be brave. And the other cool part, God is always with us. Jesus is always with me. So not only does he know me, not only does he know what gifts I have, not only does he know how to use my gifts to help me be brave and want to help me do that, but he's also with me. That gives me comfort and that helps me be brave. So being brave is not about being scared because we all get scared. Even I get scared sometimes. Being brave is about knowing what God is with me. And God can use my gifts to help me in every situation, even the scary ones. Metal Gretel, yes, that's exactly right. God can use my gifts to help me be brave, even when I'm scared. Well, all right there, kids. It is time for the memory verse. You see, this is one part in the Bible that we think would be very good if you had it ingrained in your brainage. Beard be better for your life. 
This particular verse this month is from the olden times part of the Bible before Jesus came to earth. It's in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, part 10. It's going to magically be up on the screen. So those of you who are able, please read along with Wally. Here we go. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. How cool is that? God says, do not fear, for I am with you. Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. All right, everybody at home, say the memory verse with me one more time. Ready? It's going to be on the screen. Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. All right, kids, it's time for a little recap quiz. Are you ready? Question number one. What is our big idea today? A, God can help me fight mutant chipmunks. B, God can help me be brave. C, God can use my gifts. Or D, God wants me to buy Brandon Taco Bell. No, it was not in the Bible story, but I'm pretty sure D that God, I'm just I'm just kidding, it's not true. God does not want you to buy me Taco Bell. That's right, the answer is C. Alright, question number two. Who stole Wally's meatloaf? Was it A Metal Gretel? Was it B a Jaguar named Jeff? Was it C Peter Bishop? Or was it D, Brandon? Wait, what? I did not, I definitely have never stolen meatloaf in my entire adult life. That's right, the answer is B, that intrepid jaguar named Jeff. All right, question number three. Who fought Goliath? According to our Bible story today, who fought Goliath? Was it A, Metal Gretel? B, Joshua? C, Saul, or D, David? Uh, that's right. The answer is ding, 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 ding. D, even though he was only a teenager, a middle school student, David fought Goliath. All right, question number four. True or false? God wants to use my gifts to help me be brave. Well, I gotta go do workout number five of the day. I'll check you later. Peace out. All right. I hope you guys had a lot of fun today learning about how God wants to help us be brave, how God wants to help you be brave. I can't wait to see you again next week on the screens and the interwebs so we can keep talking about Jesus and we can keep talking about how God wants to help me be brave and God wants to help you be brave. Have a great week, guys.